And thank you so much, Vicki. And anytime I'm assigned a zip trip, one of the first things that I do is head on over to Wikipedia to see who are the notable people from the towns or cities that I'm covering. And this time, I was so surprised to see the long list of sports writers that are from here and the long list of professional athletes. Well, I had the opportunity to meet up with a few of them and maybe spotted some ginger ale on the side. Less than 30 miles northwest of Boston, right off of Route 3 and 495, sits the town of Chumsford. Ranked number 14 on Money.com's best places to live in America last year, the town is known historically for ginger ale. The Chumsford Historical Society website lists everything you need to know about Chumsford ginger ale. The bubbly drink had a loyal following for more than a century and was originally made of water from spring right in town. Today, it's even the name of a small plaza right off Route 110. Chumsford is also known for its sports history. You could call it a hockey hotbed. Former NHL players like Keith O'Coin, Phil Bork, and John Morris. And then there's current NHL star Jack Eichel, who I caught up with in Boston's Back Bay. What was it like growing up as a, a young boy in Chumsford? Uh, it was great. I mean, we had uh, you know a lot of sports. It was a pretty competitive town, and um, you know a lot of really good people. It was some uh, some good schooling. The town also produced a healthy list of notable sports writers who have spent their lives covering these athletes. Jerry Callahan, former columnist for The Herald and best known for his longtime morning show on WEEI. Chaz Scoggins, longtime writer for The Lowell Sun. Sean McAdam, Red Sox beat writer and columnist for BostonSportsJournal.com. And Karen Garigian, who covers the Patriots for The Boston Herald. I caught up with Sean and Karen outside the town library. These two have known each other for some 50 years. In fact, they grew up two streets apart. Chelmsford is uh, just like Miami of Ohio is the cradle of football coaches. Chelmsford somehow over the years has become the cradle of sports writers. All four of us are in the high school hall of fame. So uh, we had to be doing something right. And I guess sports writing was pretty good. It's just kind of a fluke thing, but uh, it, it, it kind of unites all of us and has become part of our shared identity here growing up in Chelmsford. Whether it's notable people, fun facts, or historic places, there's a lot to learn about Chelmsford online. But take a day to visit and you'll see firsthand that it is, in fact, mighty fine. It's a cliche, but it really is kind of this all-American town that, that provided us with uh, a, a safe existence and backdrop and, um, and has created lifelong friendships. And I do have to say, it was so incredible to talk to all of those people. I mean, they really love this town. And one other notable person who grew up here and now lives down the road is Jeff Bowman, a Boston um, Marathon bombing uh, survivor. As you know, Jake Gyllenhaal played him in the 2017 movie uh, Stronger. So, so much history, so many great people that I spoke to. It is such a pleasure to be here.